A coalition of civil society organizations has condemned the attempt by the National Assembly to pass the anti-social media bill. The coalition, while speaking to newsmen in Abuja, says criminalizing the propagation of fake news and also restricting the use of social media and the nation's internet space is an attempt to gag free speech. They say that a bill once passed will legitimize government's clamp down on Nigeria's freedom and help target the opposition. The Senate should also note that there are enough existing laws in the country's statute book on defamation, privacy, libel, slander to protect public and private individuals along with the 2015 Cyber Crimes Act. The SB 132 bill, therefore, is a legislative overkill. Nigerians need to ask themselves this question. Who exactly is this bill meant to protect? And that answer cannot be you and I. The answer is the people who govern and who do not want their actions to be screened or called to question by Nigerians. All over the world, the international jurisprudence has been built to the extent that even criminal, uh, the criminal defamation is frowned at. You shouldn't be in prison for expressing your opinion or for holding an opinion which you actually believe in. This bill did not define what false statement is. It left it to the discretion of our very intelligent Nigerian police. It talks about Nigeria's friendly relationship with another country. What does that mean? It talks about ill feelings. What does that mean? When did we start legislating feelings? The antidote to false statement is true statement. If you feel that there are too many false statements in the public, then start putting counter-narratives out. Start putting out the truth.